In this video, we see the graph of tan inverse x. Tangent function we already know. We know that tan function is the one wherein some things are not defined. That means tan pi by 2, tan minus pi by 2, these values are not defined because tan pi by 2 is nothing but as infinity as we all know and tan minus pi by 2 is also not defined. So the graph of y is equal to tan x when we draw it and then we follow the three steps as we followed earlier that is interchanging x and y axis and taking the mirror image about the line y is equal to x will give me the new graph and the new graph will be what? The graph of tan inverse x. So first let's draw the graph of y is equal to tan x and then we'll draw the graph of y is equal to tan inverse x. The first outline is drawn for the purpose of drawing the graph of y is equal to tan x. Let's write y is equal to tan x first and then we'll draw the graph for it. I have the two dotted lines. These two dotted lines are nothing but the asymptotes as we all know. They are just for the purpose to show that the graph will be extended for all real. Only one issue and one problem is there that tan pi by 2 is not defined and tan minus pi by 2 is also not defined. I know the graph of tan x as we have already seen in our junior classes that tan 0 is what? Sin 0 upon cos 0. So it is 0 only. So tan 0 is my 0 only. What about the other values? The other values will be increasing because tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3, tan 45 degrees is 1. Next values tan 60 degrees is also known to us that is root 3. So by the rough idea that tan pi by 4 will come here, I can just write it here also, tan pi by 4 will come here, it will be 1 and so on. I can just draw the graph and go about doing the same. The graph will be what? It will be something which will be going upwards. Why? Because when you reach tan 90 degree, the value becomes closer or tends towards infinity. So it will be going upwards. And what about the other side of the graph? That means the lower portion of the graph. The same story repeats. Tan 0 is 0 only. The negative values will give me negative answers. And my graph will have the bulge here and it will go downwards. Why downwards? Because tan minus pi by 2 is minus infinite. When it is minus infinite, it will be going downwards. The purpose was not to draw this graph. Rather, the purpose was to go about drawing the next graph of tan inverse x. So the next graph is y is equal to tan inverse x. How to go about drawing the graph of y is equal to tan inverse x? Simple criteria, you have the first graph. You need to follow three steps. X and Y axis interchanged. Next, Y axis interchanged with X. And what is the last thing? Last thing is nothing but take the mirror reflection about the line Y is equal to X. The first thing, change the X axis with Y. X axis was what? X axis had pi by 2, 0 and minus pi by 2. You changed it with y. Now y axis has 0, minus pi by 2 and pi by 2. The next step is what? Change the y axis with x axis. Where is the y axis? The y axis has all real values. These are all real values. You can see here it's the whole graph covered. Now the x axis will have all real values. So I haven't shown any markings. It is all real. Everything covered. Next criteria for inverse is to draw y is equal to x and take the mirror image about it. So first let's draw the y is equal to x line on the first curve. The first curve will have y is equal to x as something a straight line with inclination given to me. So a straight line with inclination given to me. Since these are not drawn accordingly with proper compass and geometry, so they may have some cutting and intersections which are actually not in your books. So you just need to have a rough idea and then you draw about in your notebooks accordingly. Now I have to draw the mirror image. The mirror image is what? Something which is above will become below and something which is below will become above. So let 
us see how will this happen, how will this follow from the first graph. The first graph had y is equal to x here, let me write y is equal to x. The curve was above, this curve now becomes below. So the curve becomes below. What is the criteria? The criteria is above becoming below, left becoming right. Come towards the next quadrant number 3, the quadrant number 3 has something which is below will become something which is above. So it started off like this and went downwards. So what will happen? It will start like this and it will go like this. Are you seeing the dotted lines? The dotted lines are here. My graph will tend towards the dotted lines in the corners. The first corner is this, it tends towards the dotted lines and this graph also tends towards the dotted lines here. Similarly, here you can see the graph is tending towards dotted line here. This follows here. The mirror image will show me what? If you have it towards the dotted line, it will also be towards the dotted line. But again, left will become right, above will become below, below becomes above and so on. So my graph will also tend towards dotted line. So in this video, we saw the graph of tan x and then subsequently tan inverse x. Three steps we followed again. Y axis interchange with x, x axis interchange with y and you have to take the reflection about the standard line y is equal to x. In the next video, we see the related graph of cot inverse x.